What's going on YouTube? It's Electric Guy 323 and back with a new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Canon DSLR as a webcam in OBS, uh, specifically OBS Studios. Uh, I have used this in XSplit, but it's a little different. So let's get into it. So of course, main thing you're going to need is a camera. Uh, so you're going to need your Canon camera. This is only for Canon. I'm not sure how it works with Nikon or Sony cameras. Uh, so this is specifically for Canon. So here's my Canon T6i uh, crop sensor camera. It works for, other, I, I believe, all cameras, really. Um, as long as it works for the EOS utility, which is the software you're going to need that uh, comes with the majority of the cameras. And it can be downloaded off their website, the Canon website. So that's the main thing you're going to need. You're going to need a USB and uh, a tripod. You're going to need a tripod to set it up however you feel behind your monitor. Because I'm assuming if you're going to be streaming, it's going to be like right close, right next to you. So that's another thing you're going to need. You're going to need a wide, wide angle lens. So an another thing is that, I mean, you don't need it, but I highly recommend it, is the Canon uh, AC kit, uh, AC adapter kit. However, this is pretty expensive for being an AC adapter Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, for your camera, if you have the Wi-Fi uh, enabled, you're going to have to disable the Wi-Fi. So right here, you're going to have to make sure that's disabled, because if it's not disabled, your PC will not recognize it once you hook it up via uh, USB. It won't recognize it at all. Once you connect it, it won't do anything. So you got to make sure your Wi-Fi and NFC uh, setting is disabled. So that's 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 a critical thing. So just in case you don't think it it doesn't work, well it will work. Just make sure you check that. And uh, yeah, so now let's get to the software side. All right. So once you turn on your camera, once it's connected to the USB, this is what you're greeted with. You're greeted with the EOS utility uh, program. It automatically pops up. Well, at least for me it does. You might be able to change it. Uh, not sure, but for me, it pops up and you're going to click on remote shooting. And once you click on remote shooting, it pops up with this. It's pretty much a uh, setting guide or set a setting guide, a dial. Pretty much the same thing you see when you look at your camera display once you change your settings or whatever. So you're going to click on this, the live uh, remote, what is it, remote movie recording. You click on that. Then it opens this. Now you see me. Hello. So uh, now that this popped up, you see there's this box that's doing face tracking. So when you do, when you use this, I recommend you turn off the autofocus because this box is going to show up on stream. So I, I personally use menu focus. So this box disappears, but there's other focus. You could change the focus type here but I don't recommend it. Um, so let me go ahead and switch it to manual focus. Give me just a second. All right, so we're back, manual focus. For some reason, we're doing this. All right, so in this section over here, this is where you could change the shutter speeds. As you can see here, you can change the shutter speeds. You could change the aperture. You can change the ISO. Um, you could change the type of things because you also could take a, a picture here if you wanted to. Uh, so now let's open up OBS. This is OBS Studios, by the way. So there's a difference between regular OBS and OBS Studio. Uh, so let me delete this so we can start fresh. So remove. Okay. So now you're going to click this little plus sign so we could add it. It's going to be window capture. Then here we're just going to put Canon camera. And then right here where it says window, this is where you choose your window. So in this case, we want remote live view window. As, as you can see, it's the same thing you see over here. It's the whole window. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. You can hit OK. And now you see it's this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to hold Alt and then grab this little circle here and drag it. 
see like so and this way you're able to move it wherever you want it to be placed you know you can move it here here this corner this corner you also could even flip it so here transform you can ro uh, flip horizontal as you can see uh, you could do a bunch of things let's fix that so you have it here uh, so that's pretty much it another way you can do with this is if you connect it to your capture device through HDMI you can do it that way you just have to remove all the settings on your um, live view finder and uh, but this way I find it works for me hopefully it helps someone this is the person the way I personally do it there's probably other ways that I don't know about uh, if you want to use the green screen uh, let me know in the comment section. I could show you how to use a green screen with this specific setting or setup. Uh, this works for XSplit also. However, with XSplit, you have to do a screen capture instead of having this whole setting. Um, so what I mean by that, you grab the little corners and you just capture this little portion where my mouse is. You just capture screen capture this and that works also. So that's that's it. Um, so let's do a quick summary. You need a camera, obviously. USB, USB connects to the PC and to the camera. Make sure you have Wi-Fi and NFC disabled if you have that uh, feature on your camera. I do not know if this works for point-and-shoot cameras, and I'm not sure if it works for every DSLR, Canon, or Canon DSLRs. But I'm pretty sure it works. If it works for EOS utilities, it should work for you. Uh, I recommend this. This is very helpful when you do very long stream sessions because a normal battery only lasts maybe two hours tops for streaming. Then it'll die. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Legendary 323, I'm out. If you have any questions, let it, leave it down below. I'll leave a link in the description for this if you decide to buy it. It is pricey, I've warned you. All right, thank you. I'm out. Peace.